If you're a Bill Murray fan, then stick around, because you're about to discover 15 behind-the-scenes facts about Groundhog Day. Bill Murray wasn't the first choice for Phil Connors. The director Harold Ramis first contacted Tom Hanks to play Phil, but he declined because Hanks didn't think audiences would enjoy watching him be a mean person. The story was going to start much differently. The script was first written to begin with Phil already stuck in the time warp, and the filmmakers intended to keep it that way. But one day a studio executive suggested they try writing a beginning so the audience wouldn't feel cheated over not knowing how the time warp started. So Harold Ramis wrote the beginning and everyone liked it so much they included it in the movie. The movie wasn't filmed in Puxatawney, it was actually filmed in Woodstock, Illinois. But the pavilion built for the movie is an exact replica of the one used for the real festival in Pennsylvania. The reason they didn't go to Puxatawney was because the real festival isn't very picturesque since it takes place at a park far away from the center of town. The weather made filming very difficult. It was so freezing that the actors constantly flubbed their lines because their tongues couldn't articulate their words. And they even had to stop filming when they noticed Andy McDowell's cheeks were getting frostbite. There were two Murrays in the movie. The main Groundhog official is Brian Doyle Murray, who is Bill Murray's older brother. Filming the same day over and over was achieved by shooting multiple takes in the same location. So they filmed the same scene multiple times to get Phil's emotional progression with the same weather and all the extras in cars repeating the same cycle of actions. Phil's awkward hug with Ned was a surprise. One time Murray mentioned to Steven Tobolowski that he was going to give Ned a hug, but the comedian didn't tell his co-star how long it would last or what he might say, so the hilarious reaction you see Ned make was improvised. The owners of Lloyd's paint store in the background weren't happy about the production closing down the street for filming, and they even tried to charge the filmmakers hundreds of thousands of dollars for lost business. The big puddle Bill Murray steps in was handmade by the film crew, and that spot as well as others are marked all over town to let people know where the movie was filmed. Bill Murray ate a lot of food on set. For eating scenes, actors often spit into a bucket instead of swallowing, so they can save room to do multiple takes. Bill Murray, though, opted to eat all the junk food and made himself sick in the process. Scooter the Groundhog really did drive angry. Bill Murray was told to improvise his lines while Scooter was behind the wheel, and the Groundhog became agitated during the long shoot, and he bit Bill Murray's hand twice, which tore through the leather gloves he was wearing and required him to go to a clinic to get bandaged up. Bill Murray actually taught himself to play the piano for this scene, but he didn't know how to play anything more beyond what the scene shows. If you've ever wondered how Phil keeps track of time, the director also mentioned that Phil reads one page of a book every day from the bed and breakfast library, and that he's read through them all more than once. Bill Murray got slapped hard. While filming the slapping montage, Bill Murray told Andy McDowell to slap him as hard as she wanted because he could take it. But by the end, the director said Murray was ready to punch her back because his face was swelling up. The director mentioned in the audio commentary that the original idea was to have Phil stuck in the loop for 10,000 years, but the filmmakers decided to reduce the scope because they weren't sure the audience would believe this could go on for that long. So according to Harold Ramis, Phil has repeated the same day for about 10 years. If you were stuck in a time warp for 10 years, let me know in the comments what you would learn to do. Click a video on the screen to discover more fun facts about your favorite films.